I am not a Trump supporter. This is a very common thing that we are hearing. People from all walks of life, from all backgrounds, from all ideologies, who are specifically not Trump supporters, are seeing what just happened with this ridiculous conviction of 34 felonies in New York off of a clerical error that was past the statute of limitations is driving people to speak out. And this is a great example. Once again, not a Trump supporter, but just somebody who has a lot of very based and controversial often takes comic Dave Smith. And he said this, just so you guys know where I'm coming from, I am not a Trump supporter. And a lot of my audience wishes I was. I've not, I've, I've been a sharp critic of Donald Trump through his entire uh, administration, not for the reasons that the corporate press uh, is a critic of Donald Trump for different reasons, but I, look, this is just so obvious. I mean, for anybody who's being honest with themselves, look at this. This is a maybe misdemeanor that they have, they, it's a glorified misdemeanor that they've turned into 34 felonies. It is totally appalling. Um, this, this is a, a result of the justice system being weaponized and they had this in New York where they know, I mean, there's getting a jury to convict Donald Trump in New York is pretty easy. Um, people hate his guts there. And uh, this is, it's, it's a major moment for the, in the history of the United States of America, you know, one of the things that I hear a lot of Trump critics will say, um, which to me is the most, uh, you know, in the, you ever hear the red pill, blue pill analogy? Like, you know, in the Matrix, you either have the red pill or the blue pill. It's the most blue pilled thing I've ever heard, where they go, no president is above the law. <laughs> you go, except all of them are. You know what I mean? Like, all previous presidents are above the law, and there's been major crimes committed by presidents throughout the entire history of the United States of America. I mean, um, obviously, people know that George W. Bush and Dick Cheney instituted torture. Um, Barack Obama had American citizens uh, drone bombed without charges pressed against them. I mean, there's all types of things that you could prosecute former presidents for. And there's all types of war crimes that you could prosecute Donald Trump for. Um, but they don't go after him for that because then their next guy would be open to being prosecuted for war crimes. So they're going after him for every little thing that they can get. It's a, uh, look, the United States of America, our government has done some, some bad things in our past. We've lied the American people into wars many, many times, many, many times. Um, World War I, Vietnam, uh, Iraq. Um, this is something different. We've never done this before. We've never like weaponized the justice system against a former sitting president of the United States who, by the way, was framed for treason by his intelligence agencies while he was president. And now they're weaponizing the Justice Department against him while he is the overwhelming front runner to win the next election. It's a, it's a truly wild time to be alive. Now, I do agree that most politicians in general have put themselves above the law. Look at both sides with insider trading. Hillary Clinton with the Benghazi cover up, with bleach bidding the server, smashing the subpoenaed evidence with hammers, literally, using the Clinton Foundation funds to pay for the Steele dossier to frame Trump after Obama illegally spied on him. There's a lot of people, a lot of people who would be considered above the law because they broke the law yet there are no charges please if you don't mind comment some notable crimes actual crimes that politicians have committed that there was no charges no indictments no convictions for also while you're down there he did say trump committed a lot of war crimes that he should be convicted of could you name one, please? Because from what I understand, Trump got us out of wars. He started no new wars. I know that Trump took out Russian mercs in Syria, even though the corporate press says that he was soft on Russia and Putin specifically. Uh, he walked in across the DMZ to North Korea to calm Rocket Man down. And he smart bombed Soleimani. Was that it? Taking out Soleimani? Was it crushing ISIS that he's talking about? Please, honestly, 
I agreed with everything except Trump having a whole bunch of war crimes under his belt. So I'm just curious if you guys wouldn't mind helping me with that in the comments. Either way, as I said, there's a lot of people from all walks of life who are not Trump supporters who are finally seeing that it's not that they're going after Trump. It's that they're destroying every institution and all the rights that we all have. And you and I are next if this doesn't get corrected. If you enjoyed this video, give the like button a little bank. I'm sure you'll like it. And subscribe. We got to get this ship turned around.